I'm not gonna share these five tips with you, but I'm also gonna show you the stuff that came. And I've got a small little fall haul that I wanna share with you as well. Some of the products that I've gotten in that I just purchased myself that I think would be great for the fall and winter months. Hey bosses, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode because here on this channel, we are winning, honey. We are leading and we are winning, not only in our life, but also in career and business. And we're doing it with balance and alignment. And that is what I share with you on this channel, how to live your best life, have a quality of life, and be a more effective, efficient, and aware leader. If that sounds like something that you wanna know more about and how to do, definitely hit the subscribe button and make sure you are hitting that notification bell so you never miss an episode. Today on this particular show, I wanna to talk to you about some of the tomfoolery that has been happening with me as I scale or try to scale my business in a different direction. Yes. I am talking about becoming an even more of an influencer where I am sharing products with other people. I'm being approached by brands that want me to share their products on my platform. And hunty, I cannot wait to show you some of the stuff that has been sent to me. And I have some tips, five to be exact, to keep you from making some of the same mistakes that I made, but also to sort of keep you organized so that as soon as the mistakes happen or the challenges happen, you recognize them early and you do not waste your time or energy any further. So definitely stay around for the end of this video because not only am I gonna share these five tips with you but I'm also going to show you the stuff that came and I've got a small little fall haul that I want to share with you as well some of the products that I've gotten in that I just purchased myself that I think would be great for the fall and winter months and I know that you guys were around for my spring closet capsule wardrobe and I'm going to do the exact same thing for my winter fall capsule wardrobe so definitely stick around because that video will be coming up soon but for today I want to go ahead and jump right in to these tips that I have for you. Attention, we interrupt this programming for an important public service announcement. If you are a small business owner and you want to scale your business, October is the month to kick your efforts into overdrive. In addition to being Women's Small Business Month, October is my birthday month. And I'm celebrating by giving away a gift every week of the month. That's right, four gifts that I'm giving away to celebrate my birthday and Women's Small Business Month. Each week in October, I'm sharing actual lessons from my soon to be launched signature program. And I'm holding nothing back in these lessons because I wanna help you start, scale, and sustain your business. There is absolutely no cost for you to experience these trainings, but there is commitment. To learn more about this opportunity, you must join my community. But even there, I'm giving away a gift. Once you have joined, you will receive for immediate download my BU Guide. It's a win-win. All you have to do is visit andreapatrick.com forward slash the BU Guide to get your download, my very first gift, and experience and learn all about how to start, scale, and sustain your business with actual lessons from my upcoming, soon to be launched, signature program. Go ahead today, grab that guide, and I will see you on the other side. Okay, so, Tip number one. Well, before I tell you about the tips, let me just give you a little background information. So I have been doing marketing. I've been promoting on social media for some time now, and I've been teaching people how to do it, how to be more authentic, how to be more organic, and not have to pay tons and tons of money for ads in order to get business and get engagement. Well, in doing so, it was noticed by some brands who were also looking to grow their business. And so they reached out to me in an effort to expand their reach with my audience. And I was very shocked and surprised when it happened, but I was so excited because it was an opportunity for me to grow my business in a direction that I wasn't in affiliate or influencer marketing. So I decided to take a chance and answer some of the requests to find out exactly what it was they were looking for. 
for? Well, in a lot of these instances, it is they will give you free products um, in exchange for you paying the shipping for the product. Now, I'm gonna share with you five tips that I definitely think you should be aware of when you are approached by this particular opportunity as well so that you don't hit some of the same pitfalls that I did. Thankfully, I was using the tips that I'm about to share with you, so your girl did not get stuck in a mess, but I do wanna show you what was a result of it. So stick around, I've got some images, some pictures I wanna share with you, some of the things that happened through this process that you need to avoid. But tip number one that I will share with you is, and you have to forgive the plane, because I'm outside, but the tip number one that I wanna share with you is to have your own personal style. Whether you are going to um, become an influencer and share products in the lifestyle space, in the business space, maybe it's a course that you want to promote or you're an affiliate for, whatever the product is, have your own personal style because that's how you're going to come across most organic and most authentic when you are trying to sell that particular product or service. What I'm gonna to talk to you about today is more fashion related and I wanted to make sure that I was very clear on that point because you can be taken advantage of if you don't have your own personal style and the goal is just to try to peddle a product that you're not really aligned with. So don't do that because it comes across as though you're just trying to sell. So regardless of what the product is, have have your own personal style have your own way of doing things fashion have your own personal style if it's a product like a household product have a certain way that you like to do things that you could talk about using that product in that way if it's a course that you have taken and you love and you have now become an affiliate for make sure that the way you talk about it the way you use it is organic and it comes across that way from your own personal style that's tip number one okay tip number two is to make sure that you have a strategy do not walk into this new arena of content influencer marketing without having a strategy because you want to make sure that when you are sharing the content online it is coming across as like I said before authentic you want to have a way that you are going to share it in your posts you want the captions at the bottom to make sense as it relates to the products you want to align yourself and be um, very transparent in how you're using it but you also want to have a strategy and know the best best times to post, what's happening around you, maybe sort of fit in with some of the trends so that it doesn't look like you just sort of threw it in there. You wanna make sure that there is a strategy, a well thought out strategy around you now starting to promote some of these products and services. Next, make sure you have a system down. I talk about this all the time, having processes and systems in place so that you are prepared and you have a plan of action and a contingency when things don't go the way you want them to or things escalate and you need to have, you know, be on your game for real. So have a system. I use Google Sheets and I created a spreadsheet with all of the products that had asked me to particularly share their brands with my audience. I made a list to understand which ones I like the best. I made sure that I knew which ones I had purchased when they were purchased, what the discount was, what the code was, so that when I was posting and sharing about them in my caption, I made sure I had all the information correct. But I also had a system for going through all of the invitations to determine which ones I wanted to work with. I had a system for vetting them to make sure they were aligned with my brand. A complete system that helped me to determine exactly who it was I wanted to work with, exactly what it was I was willing to do to work with them. And then I knew exactly what I needed to do in terms of my posting and captions and all of the discount codes that I was supposed to share as well as what I was going to receive from said brand in the event that people are purchasing using my discount code. So I had a system, I was not going into it blind. I also had a strategy as to how I was going to work that content into my existing content strategy and add my own personal style. So that a lot of, like I said, a lot of what I was doing was fashion related. So I had to incorporate these brands into my own personal style and make sure that it worked well and it didn't look like it was out of place and I was trying to force it. All right, those are the first three. Let's keep going. The fourth thing, the fourth tip I have for you, if you are considering doing more influencer marketing and beginning to use and share products um, and engage in, with other brands so that you can help them grow and you grow as well, is to have a budget because 
when you first start out you are not getting a ton of things for free okay it will tell you that you are going to get certain items for free then on the back end it tells you that you have to pay for shipping and then there will be some that tell you that they will discount the products for you but you're still not getting them for free so you have to be very very careful about these people who are saying that you only have to pay for shipping because odds are you actually are paying for the product because the product is not that expensive anyway and they're covering their cost by you just covering the shipping as they call it so be very careful and pay attention to the fine print pay attention to what they're offering you and then pay attention to the actual product or service as well because if you're buying from some of the brands you will have to um, pay attention to the sizing chart because sizing in other countries is not the same and so you could get stuck with a product that does not fit or is not the right size even though it says it's your size if it's a European size it's probably not your size and they're not telling you that so be careful to ask those types of questions but have a budget it because if you get too carried away you can spend a ton of money and have products that you cannot use and then that is a major problem so definitely definitely in your system that you've created make sure that you have somewhere on that spreadsheet or within that system a way for you to keep track of a budget so that you don't overdo it and end up with things that you cannot use now again just stick around to the end of this video because I'm going to show you some things that um, I purchased that were not what they seem so I want you to be the benefactor of my experiences so that you don't experience some of the same things all right now let's head on to this last tip that I want to share with you if you are trying to scale your business and become more of an influencer marketer like I was all right guys the very last tip I'll give you is to know when to pull the plug the goal is for the dollar to chase you and not for you to chase the dollar. When you get to a position and people start reaching out to you to share their brands with your audience, that is a great feeling. I can tell you because I had it and I loved it and I'm very excited to work with some of the brands that I have decided to work with, but you also have to know when to pull the plug. When you are watching that budget, if that budget is getting stretched, it might be time to pull the plug. If you are not seeing residual income from these brands that say they're going to pay you when people are clicking on their link from your page or whatever, if you're not seeing any money from that, it might be time to pull the plug. It also might be time for you to adjust your strategy if your strategy is not working correctly and you're not seeing anything from those links. But definitely make sure that you know when it is time to pull the plug plug you do not want to chase the dollar you want to consistently put out content that people see and want to work with you because that opportunity the right opportunity will come if you find yourself in a situation where it is the wrong opportunity you thought it was right but it turns out to be wrong pull the plug you gotta know when to do it okay so those are my five tips if you are looking to scale your business and become more of an influencer marketer and start working with brands who are reaching out to you definitely 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 have your own personal style especially if you are working with fashion brands jewelry brands even if you're working with um, home decor brands if you're working with any lifestyle brands have your own way of doing things so that you can incorporate those things into your way and show people how you would use them that's what's going to make it most organic and most authentic to you also have a strategy with your content how do you want to share it with people because you want it to come off organic very relatable very realistic then have a system make sure that you are putting out that spreadsheet so you know where your money is going when products should be in know what those discount codes are and you can incorporate that into your content strategy then you want to definitely definitely have a budget and know how much money you're spending really look at the fine print of some of these deals because a lot of them may be asking you to purchase products which I wouldn't do necessarily unless it were like a major brand and then some of them are telling you that you can get the product free and just pay for shipping but be careful with that because if shipping is like $65 or whatever is the product really worth it and test it out first see how it's going to work for you with one product line see if people are actually going to listen and actually make purchases before you start spending money on other things because if you're not going to make your money back really what good is it and then lastly know when to pull that plug 
definitely know when to fold them, honey. Do not try and work for that dollar so hard. Let that dollar work for you. All right, now, I hope these tips were helpful. And now I'm gonna get into, I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that came in that I want you to be aware of. Hang tight. And then like I said, at the very end of this video, I'm gonna do a little haul for you. I'm gonna share with you some of the fall pieces that I've recently purchased and added to my wardrobe. Because as you know, we did the capsule wardrobe for spring, summer, and we're going to do it again for fall, winter. But I wanted to share with you a few of the pieces that I added to my wardrobe. And I might even show you in a later video how I'm gonna work them and like different outfits, whatever. So let me know in the comments below if that's something that you'd like to see. Would you like to see how I style some of these pieces that I'm gonna share with you for fall? Or is just showing you the pieces enough? Let me know in the comments below. And if you have not already, be sure to hit the subscription button if you like this content, if it's helpful to you. And also hit the subscribe button if, uh, not the subscribe button, yes, the subscribe button, but also the notification bell so that you never miss a video. All right, so let's get over into this mess that people sent me. All right, hold on. Okay, guys, I am here in my closet. I am sorry for the lighting, but this is one of the first things that I got back um, that I paid I want to say $30 for it was shipping only and it was supposed to be this amazing jack amazing coat I'm gonna try to do the split screen um, and show you what the video what the pic picture look like but guys this looks like it's sort of hard to tell with this lighting but trust me when I tell you look at this guys look look at this this looks like the felt that you used to use, you know, in kindergarten that you would, you know, make those pictures with, the squares and the triangles. That is what this material looks like. It says, I think I got it in a 3X so that it would fit more like a 1X um, because it was not, you know, American made. But look, it's horrible quality. Um, it's so thin. There's no lining. Look at this. Look at that. This is supposed to be, look. This is horrible, guys. Horrible. So you have to be very, very, very careful. Okay, in addition to that jacket, there was this purse. Okay. Now, this purse was so cute, and I do have footage of this um, that I will have to share with you. I'll try to do a split screen and show you this one as well. But this purse is, <laughs> y'all, this is such a mess. Okay, so this is supposed to be like this cute little leather bag. Look at this. Look at how poorly this is made. I mean, it looks like it is one piece of leather. Again, it looks like a craft project that I would do at Vacation Bible School, <laughs> honestly. I mean, look at this stitching. It's just not great. Um, I mean, it is leather, I think. But I mean, just look at this. Look at that and I'm going to show you the split screen so that you can see what it was supposed to look like look at this you don't want to get caught off guard you want to make sure that you I mean it's really hard to tell but at least you know with jewelry and I just I did I had a great experience with the Orilla uh oh, I dropped a bracelet there. But I had a really good experience with the Arilla um, jewelry, I have to say. They were my first experience, and I've worn these necklaces several times and um, bracelets, and I really have not had any. Ooh, I'm just dropping them. I haven't had any issues with them turning or anything. Now, I don't shower in them I don't really sweat or anything in them I wear them for outfits to go out um, and I shoot them but um, as of now and I've had them for a, a couple months like a few months actually more than a couple and I really haven't had any trouble with them so I'm sorry for the lighting guys I might be able to fix that if I open my window here oh there we go look okay 
let's see yeah that's a little better but anyway guys yes um just you know be mindful of those five tips that i gave you if you're going to start working with brands and helping them to engage with your audience make sure that it's the right thing i would never like really showcase these brands i'm not even going to show you where i got them i just want you to be mindful i'm not trying to put anybody specifically on blast what i'm really trying to do is help you guys avoid some of the things that i have run into with these five tips that will minimize those chances for you doing that so anyway i hope you enjoyed this video now i'm gonna give you a little bit of a haul i'm gonna show you a couple of pieces um that i got for fall winter that I'm really excited about and I've got one little unboxing that I want to do I've never done an unboxing before so I'm excited about that so all right let's get to that Okay, so I recently had to do an event, the Denton Blues Festival, um, and I had one of my team members from New York come down to do the decorating of the VIP room. And the whole time we were together, she had this very, very cute crossbody, um, and I loved it. And I thought, oh wow, you know, I wanted to minimize my purse game for a minute now, and I thought I had, because I have a little small black coach purse that I was using but it's like the little short handle and um, I couldn't do the crossbody thing and I thought when I get home I'm gonna see if I can find something and y'all I did it came and here is my little unboxing go coach go so exciting of course I've already been in it right because I couldn't hold my mule <laughs> so I wanted to show you oh my look at her she's so pretty look at that it is a crossbody bag look at her she is so cute this is what I really love about it okay let's see because I'm doing it one-handed so you take this off and then this little pouch comes out and the pouch right is where you can put all your credit cards and then it has a zipper on top where we can put our like cash if we want to and then you know still has that little pocket right there so cute and then it's got the zipper let's see if I can unzip it hey guys while I'm doing this I recently got a couple of plants look at her so y'all pray for me because I'm not the best plant mom and then I don't know if you can see out there you see him that's fiddle but let me show you this before my battery dies on my camera here is the inside of the bag so it's perfect I can fit my cell phone in it 
All right, guys, that does it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed yourself. If you like this type of content, please make sure you uh, comment below. Let me know. I will continue to create it. Also, if you've not subscribed, please do so now. Hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. And don't forget, October, we're doing my training. So if you've not subscribed to my community, make sure you do so. You get my free BU guide, which is very helpful, and a gift each week in um, terms of a training that I'm doing, which is actual training from my soon-to-be-launched signature program. All right, guys. I hope you enjoy the video. Bye.